Hey guys, welcome back to Mo's Game Table. Today we're going to look at the third and final piece of the Aliens and Other Glorious Day in the Core bundle that I got from Gale Force 9. We've got the Ultimate Badasses expansion and the Assets and Hazards. So we'll take a look at each of those, starting off with the Ultimate Badasses expansion, finding out what that one's all about. This expansion provides new options for fighting the Xenomorph Menace, aiding even more badass characters to the Aliens and Other Glorious Day in the Core cooperative survival game. These reinforcements will help your fire team progress through the campaign missions or provide options for the bug hunts. As your heroes investigate the threat on LV-426, they'll gain experience and hone their skills. Choose experience cards to complement your character's abilities or build a well-rounded character to tackle any test. The choice is yours if you can make it to the extraction point alive. And it says here we get six plastic miniatures, 64 experience cards, six character cards, one rulebook, and four dice. So let's take a look inside and see what you get. All right, so we have our deck of experience cards, our rule book, our miniatures, the dice, the assembly guide for the minis, and then our character cards. So let's take a closer look at everything we get. Now we'll take a look at the character cards that come with the game. We have Gunny Apone, Private Crow, Private Wierzbowski, Private Drake, Corporal Dietrich, and the dude everybody wants to smoke in this movie, Carter Burke, including the fans. Everybody hates that guy. And just like we've already seen with the other expansion and the base game, the miniatures are really, really solid. They have great detail. They're going to go together real easy. Comes with the assembly guide, and I think these are going to look fantastic on the table. Uh, I really dig the quality that Gale Force 9 did with these. Uh, at first glance, these look really, really good. And we'll take a look at the experience cards. And the first thing I want to say right off the bat that I like about these is they're not generic experience cards. You're not just saying, hey, you get a boost to shooting or you get a boost to aiming, whatever. You actually have roles here. Leader, gunner, tactician, tracker, so on and so forth. So this way you can actually build a well-rounded fire team. Not only that, but they start off with one, they go to two and three. So you can actually grow your character throughout the course of the campaign. You can actually expand their experience further and build them up to be a stronger leader, stronger hero, tactician, whatever. I think that's really, really cool. And I'm excited to see how that impacts the gameplay when this is in use. Taking a closer look at the gunner experience cards, we'll see what you have as your choices. Covering your six, covering fire, taking point for level one. Then we ex when you can expand up to level two, you get killjoy, combat ready, or sharpshooter. And then you can go to level three, perfect shot, and born killer. So you can see the progression for the gunner throughout the campaign. And the rule book for the Ultimate Badasses expansion is a simple fold-out. The inside you're going to have the expansion overview, which tells you you get more Marines to choose from for your fire teams, your component breakdown, and then the experience cards and how those are used. We just took a look at those. And you're going to have to start out with level one. You get enough level one, you can advance to level two. And then when you have enough level two, you can advance to level three. And that's all there is to it. And then we have fire teams on the back about balancing your fire teams with your experience cards. And then Newt, how Newt must always be filled in the campaign and does not count against your six man fire team limit. And here's a look at the miniatures that come with the Assets and Hazards expansion, which was part of the bundle that Gale Force 9 was offering. Inside, we get two face huggers, eight eggs, two sentry guns, six computer terminals, and 16 crates. So basically, everything that you have a token for in the base game, you can now use these for the three dimensional miniatures on the board, which is going to make the board really pop and look really fantastic on the table. And that is a look at everything that comes inside of the Ultimate Badasses expansion, as well as the assets and hazards that was part of the bundle that Gale Force 9 was selling. This is also going to be available at your local game store and your online game store. So if this is uh, of interest to you, you can order from them. I think it's going to add uh, a lot of really nice visuals to the board, because instead of just having the tokens down, you're going to have the three-dimensional miniature standing right there. I think it's going to bring the game alive quite a bit on the table. The additional heroes that you can add in there, the, the other Marines that you can bring in are going to be really cool. The addition of the experience cards is fantastic, I think. 
It allows you to have more individuality with your troops, as well as building a more rounded squad. I think that will really make a big difference in how the game plays going forward, uh, especially when you have new guys and they're going to have some different skills and things like that. You can pick six guys and then leave a couple on the side as reserves for the next scenario so you can rest them out or use them uh, when you think they're going to be more appropriate for the challenges of that scenario. But I think everything here is worth getting. If you're a fan of the Alien franchise, this looks like it's going to be one hell of a fun game. Well, I hope that helps you guys out if you'd be curious about this one. you have any comments or questions, post them down below. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you next time.